I gotta say, I really enjoy making these videos where I respond to TikTok stuff. I mean, it's kind of insightful, right? That maybe I can give an advice that benefits some of you while uh, we discuss and uh, sometimes criticize people on the internet. But, but more often than not, we're trying to give advice, right? Because uh, genuinely, this was an interesting video. It was uh, brought to my attention by uh, Dr. Jebra Fauché. And she uh, says, uh, let's crowdsource some advice for this lady. Why is she still single? Okay. I just came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh, yeah, he's attractive. Okay, this is not supposed to be offensive. But I see their wives and they just look like so, like, you know? I mean, uh, one of the major problems that I would find, why are you interested in guys that have wives? I mean... I don't know how it's like in America, but here in Romania, it is socially unacceptable for men and for women to pursue people that are in a relationship or heaven forbid they're married. We, we even have like a word for a uh, home wrecker, not like you're wrecking their home. You know, some people may have children. It's a lot more people involved when you have a marriage. Individuals don't really like it when you come like a bulldozer and, you know. Uh, so, so yeah, why are you interested in men that are married? That, that would be my question. Like, not like this. Just like, you know, like, I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I look crazy. Like, that's why guys don't want to wife me up. Right, so uh, she goes on and she talks about how uh, she's very strong and that's what puts guys off. And uh, the answer is, uh, yeah. No, unironically, yeah. Like, like, okay, imagine the following scenario, right? Imagine that you have a guy which uh, puts a lot of effort with makeup on, right? Like, he, he's got eyelashes, he does his fingernails, uh, he's really cute and pretty, has a lot of uh, feminine mannerisms to him and then makes a video and wonders like what why does no girl want him like what why is no woman interested in him because he is so beautiful he is so attractive and he believes that he is so beautiful that women feel uncomfortable next to him because he is more beautiful than they are and that is the reason imagine such a video no unironically imagine a guy that's sitting there you know some uh, maybe south korean pop star and he is sitting there and is like the, the the reason that i have absolutely no girlfriend is because they feel insecure when i sit next to them and i am more pretty and more beautiful than they are and people turn their heads and they look at me rather than them that is why they don't want to be with me the reality is it's not a competition right like what when i when i got my wife i wasn't trying to outcompete her on, on how beautiful I am. You know, I wasn't trying to outcompete her on putting on makeup or, or trying to outcompete her in being more beautiful. Uh, no, men and women aren't there to compete with each other. We're there to complete each other. So I am looking for something in a woman that I don't have and she is looking for something in me that she doesn't have. So together we can make a whole. Um, if, if, you know, you choose uh, to be strong and uh, work out. I mean, that's great, right? But then don't be upset that other men aren't interested. Again, you can be a guy that's interested in putting on makeup and trying to look as girly and, and as uh, appealing as possible and then fit, you know, into the feminine beauty standards. But it's your choice, sure. But don't be upset when women aren't interested in you because it's their choice as well. Now, now, regarding the uh, the piercings and the tattoos and, and all of that, um, yeah, I mean, I know women that don't go out with guys that have tattoos. Like, this is a preference. Um, it seems that there's more people that do not like ink rather than they do. So, you're basically, like, shrinking your dating pool willingly. Um, the people that do like tattoos, from what I understand, 
would still date someone that doesn't have tattoos, but a person that uh, doesn't like people with tattoos would not date like that, right? So, like, if your concern is why am I not getting a date, well, when you're doing stuff that is, like, shrinking, like, you're purposefully shrinking the number of people that may be interested, I mean, you know, you're sabotaging yourself, I guess. If you're not interested in a date, and you're happy, then sure, you know, like, in cup and uh, do everything you got. But, like, the, the only thing that I don't understand, and I genuinely want to know this from you guys, do any of you find nose piercings attractive? Or is it just a me thing? Like, I heard another lady, not this one, another one, also on TikTok. And, and she was saying that the reason she got piercings is because men like it. And I'm thinking, like, is that true, though? Like, who made this fashion? Who Who created this fashion with... The nose piercing. Because, I, 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 like, I get earrings, right? Like, earrings can be beautiful. But, like, most men, from what I see, are like, meh. Like, like they may not even notice the, the existence of the earring. Alice is big. But, but, like, this to me seems like a fashion that women themselves are imposing upon themselves. Like, like this is not an expectation that most men have towards women. Like, we, we do not expect that you use piercings. We do not necessarily expect that you use earrings. Right. So there is another thing that she brings up in another video, which is also interesting. I get the ick every time I talk to a guy. Every time. I try to give guys that tell me they work out a chance. We go lift together. I'm out lifting them. Ick. Ick. We go out to eat. I eat more than them. No. I can't. I can't. I can't be with a guy that I eat more. I can't be with a guy that I outlift. I can't be with a guy that doesn't go to the gym at all because like... He's not going to understand. I need to go to the gym to solve my anger issues. Right. So the, the interesting thing, like she does have a pretty face. She does have a sense of humor. She can actually find the guy. However, her expectations is what is sabotaging her. Like, like imagine if you're a guy and you earn a lot. Like you're a CEO or something and your expectation is... I want a woman that's pretty, that's younger than me, that earns more than me, or or at least earns as much as me. I want her to have PhD. I want her to, like, like when you just set like a list of things, you're going to have difficulty finding that person. It's not just about dating. Like imagine you have a job interview and you're like, okay, so I want a doctor that also has finished uh, dentistry school and is a surgeon and is also a PhD in the microbiology and has 20 years of experience. And, you know, like like when you start adding things, requirements, and you keep filtering things, uh, eventually you're not going to find many people. Um, I, I do not think, like, she has the problem in people, like, when she goes, like, why am I single? I don't think that's certainly like she's single because of the piercings, the inking, and uh, she is single, number one, because of the preference that she sets out, right? Like uh, men that lift more than her and eat more than her, which is fair enough, right? But I'm pretty sure that now you have a very small pool of people, and out of those, some of them are married, so the pool shrinks even more. Uh, some of them may not be interested in a girl that's muscular, right? Like, even though they are muscular and they lift, maybe they, they want the 20-year-old uh, supermodel that's very feminine. So now the pool shrinks even more. And, and then, like, from the ones that are left, like, maybe some of them do not like tattoos or piercings and the pool just evaporates, right? I, I, I mean, what, what can you say? It is reality. So I know it's unpopular to say it, but... Dating is like finding a job. If you go out of university and you want to work at Google with no previous experience, but unless Google hires you, you refuse to work anywhere else, well, you're going to be unemployed, right? And when someone says, well, why don't you try a different company? Why don't... No, I will not lower my expectations because I am a good student and I deserve, I finished university with A+. It's like, okay, sure, but like, 
you know, it's your choice. But that is the answer that you're getting. I, I know that the answer that you're getting isn't the one that you want, but it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.